Hello everyone and welcome to Prophecy Files Briefing. I'm glad that you joined me today. Would you take time to share out this Prophecy File Briefing on your social media platform? It will get the word out farther and help people to have a clearer understanding about what is happening in Bible prophecy. And we just share each time uh, together for just a few moments about what we're seeing. There is plenty in Bible prophecy that is happening in our world today. But let me draw your attention to this. I never thought that I would come to a day when my own government, the government of the United States, would begin to turn itself against Christianity and against Christians, against the Bible. But it has now come full circle, and we're watching this happen on purpose. From this article, feds urge banks to flag purchases of Bibles, MAGA transactions, according to the House Committee. This is what the article reads. Uh, the Representative Jim Jordan from Ohio, the chairman of the House Subcommittee on Weaponization of the Federal Government, sent a letter Wednesday, just a few weeks ago, to Noah Bischoff, the former director of an office in the Treasury's Strategic Operations Division of Financial Crimes Enforcement Network. It was requesting a transcription uh, with the interview with Mr. Bischoff. Uh, Jordan stated that the subcommittee obtained documents showing the following, that the U.S. Capitol riots on January 6, 2021, that FinCEN, which is the acrostic for that, uh, distributed materials to financial institutions that, among other things, outline the typologies of various persons of interest. He alleged that the agency also provided financial institutions with suggested search terms and merchant category codes for identifying transactions on behalf of the federal law enforcement. The article goes on to say that the findings from the subcommittee suggest federal law enforcement agencies also sought data on transactions at popular sporting goods stores like Bass Pro, Dick's Sporting Goods, and Cabela's. And here's where it caught me. We now know the federal government flagged terms like MAGA, Trump, to financial institutions if Americans completed transactions using those terms. What was also flagged if you bought a religious text like a Bible or shopped at Bass Pro Shop? Ladies and gentlemen, you have just witnessed in this article and in their findings, which you probably would not have known anything about, and most of you perhaps have only heard it first right here at Prophecy Files Briefing, the fact that the federal government was flagging people who purchased Bibles, and those even that would believe in the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is very, very clear and has been uh, part of operations for a number of years. But now, as it is connected to the January 6th riots on the Capitol and the incarceration of people that would make these transactions and so forth, and using terms, searching them on the web, now is flagging Christians People who would buy a Bible, the most sold book ever, uh, is now under scrutiny and those that would read the text and believe the text. What does that look like? Well, the Bible is not silent about this. The Bible tells us very clearly that there would be a diminishing of people's, not only their belief in the Word of God in the last day, but the receiving of truth. Here's what the Bible says. The Bible says, because they loved not the truth, they were turned over to a deceitful and a depraved mind. Are you hearing this? The Bible continues to say that they would be turned into a lie, that they would start believing a lie because they did not love the truth, which is the Word of God. Ladies and gentlemen, we're living in a time when it would seem like all, all of the world is encroaching and pressing in on Christianity. This is not an accident. This is exactly what the Bible said it would be like in the last days prior to, to the coming of the Lord. Why is that so important to us? Because we need to live for Jesus Christ like we never have. Witness uh, by the power of the Holy Spirit to those that are lost, those that need to know the Lord. And stand up for truth and righteousness while we still have a voice. There will come a day when millions will be missing across this people planet in an event called the rapture of the church. At that moment, everything is going to change. But while we have a voice, while we have this platform, before we may be deplatformed from social media, now's the time to speak up, stand up, and pray like we never have 
for a massive revival around the world. Let it start inside of us. And I would encourage you to keep this thought in mind, that Jesus could come at any moment. And loving the Word of God, embracing the Word of God, is so critical in this hour. I would encourage you to do everything you can to keep your mind and your heart focused upon the imminent return of Jesus Christ. It's a motivator to help us live like we should in these last days. Till the next time we get together around God's Word, remember Jesus Christ is coming soon.